So the, uh, the brains of the whole operation are in there now, um, converging on a major design meeting to make our couch. And they kicked me out of the airstream. <laughs> is what I really like right here. Mm -hmm. uh, now I know these are a lot more squared off, but the goal is, is it, this doesn't need to be one thing. I was thinking maybe. Hey everybody. So today, really excited. We are actually making our custom made couch. Now I've built the couch, but now comes the fabric and the cushions. And of course, our whole Airstream Argosy theme is repurposed materials using materials and repurpose them so we are going to be using our old couch that we've been using for a long time and we're gonna take the cushions of that couch and retrofit them to fit the custom-made couch in our Argosy and so we're just gonna reupholster that of course we have to kind of cut make things fit. We might have to go buy some um, additional foam uh, for the curve, but we've got a secret weapon. We have flown in Ariane's best friend, Casey, who is a sewing wizard, and she is visiting us this weekend, and she's gonna sew. So really excited because this is a huge part of our design and huge part of getting the Argosy completely finished and um, yeah uh, I can't wait to see the end product This is really going to stick to us too right. because it's very thin. So apparently reupholstering existing cushions is a lot more difficult than we thought. But we're getting there. right here remember with the I didn't do any like major cut like but just this one right here well that's in the back but this is the bottom piece so this will this will be on the bottom So in true Scott and Ariane fashion, what better way to sew cushions on a vintage Airstream than to use a vintage sewing machine to do it. It's the only one we had, but our sewing machine is a Singer sewing machine that dates back to 1947. And so far it's working. Air okay. So how do you feel about uh, sewing this stuff in 1947? 
Sing your song you should do. <laughs> well, we'll see how it goes. You, you gotta get to know her. She's a little old. They've definitely improved some things in the sewing machine world since 1942. <laughs> but she's pretty. I need, I need power. <laughs> So the couch is done without a minute to spare. On Sunday, we had to drive Casey back to the airport. We had to leave the house at six o'clock. I think she said, I'm done. The couch is finished at 5.57. So it was a quick jaunt. We did have time to go have a margarita and celebrate. And then we dropped her off back to the airport. Was it worth reupholstering an old couch or old cushions from our couch? Yes and no. So here's the cost breakdown of what actually it costs. Reupholstering existing cushions on a couch is really easy to do. It's when you change the dimension of the existing cushion that you're gonna start spending extra money on. So what does foam cushion cost? Foam rubber, foam that is in most uh, couches, chairs, what does that cost? It's really expensive if you buy it from like Joanne Fabrics or Fabric Store. It can really be expensive. Just uh, a, a seven foot long by three and a half foot long piece of foam is going to be over a hundred dollars. So you can see if you start making an entire couch with the back, with the cushions, with the sides, you get pretty expensive, pretty quick. So our idea was to repurpose our old couch. So we took existing cushions, but what I did was I built the couch. And we measured the cushions. We knew what size we wanted, but we had this idea in mind that we are just gonna make our existing couch cushions a little bit longer. Well, that was a seven inch issue and that seven inches to make an existing cushion longer was our big mistake. And that cost us $100 for two cushions to increase the width of seven inches and then make the curved sides. We thought we could make, we could just cut the existing cushions from the back of our couch and make them shorter and we could not. So our mistake was this, we, we tried to recreate and remake an existing cushion. That was our mistake. It wasn't that much more money that we had to pay, but when you go to buy new fabric, you have to understand fabric on the, on the low end, unless you're gonna go with some 70s funky fabric that you can buy easily for a buck 99 or two bucks a yard, upholstery fabric is expensive. You can pay from anywhere from $16 to $26 a yard, depending on what design you want and what kind of upholstery fabric you want. So we started looking at fabric, uh, we got up to you know $400 to repolster an old couch really quickly, and that's without the cushion. So our cost was this. So we spent approximately $300 a new fabric, which was $16 a yard. You can see the video that I just posted about um, all the things we love about renovating an Airstream. That's where we bought our fabric. It was about 300 and 
$42 for the fabric. We had to get about 13 yards of that fabric, so you can see it gets expensive very quickly. Then, after we get the fabric, then we buy our foam. So we went to a discount fabric store that does sell the 1970s, 80s, non-existent fabric you can't buy anywhere else. They also reupholster old furniture. So they find furniture everywhere, garbage, whatever, and they take the foam out and make brand new furniture. So the guy that in the video that is cutting the foam, I asked him, when does that foam become way too bad to reupholster furniture? When is the, like the red line of like, yeah, I'm not using this foam, it's too bad. Well, the shocking answer I got was never. And I was really shocked to hear that. So what he told me was that unless it's really soaked like in some sort of urine or liquid or it's got mold in it, your average foam, furniture foam, you can reuse over and over and over and over again, even if it gets soaking wet. After you dry it, if it isn't, doesn't have mold in it, it's good to go. Well, that kind of made me think about our old Argosy couch that I did not save that foam. I threw that out because I thought it was bad. So if you're gonna reupholster furniture and you're gonna redo a, you're gonna custom make a couch and custom make cushions and you have an old Airstream or you have an old Argosy gaucho bed, save the foam. Don't throw it away, put it in a nice place where mice can't get into it. Mice can't even live in that stuff anyway. It's terrible for them. To, it's terrible for anything to nest in that stuff. So they never do. So that stuff is still really good. So save it. The other thing is that if you're gonna use an existing cushion on a couch, build your couch or build that piece of furniture to fit those exact dimensions. Because once you go off those dimensions, that's when it starts getting expensive. So our whole project, all in all, was about $425 to reupholster existing cushions and make a brand new couch. Um, that's not including building the couch, that is just fabric, the foam, and making all the cushions. Now, our couch is a little bit larger than others. It's not a regular sized couch. We did that because we really wanted to make it kind of like a guest bed, but have it thick enough and comfortable enough that if somebody came over, they weren't sleeping on a really thin couch, but they had a lot of room. It's only, it's almost a one and a half person couch. And we wanted that to make, be really comfortable leg wise, width wise. And that was our idea, idea behind the couch. So it worked, it's beautiful. Can't wait to show you. I'm gonna show you a quick photograph of it. And then you're just gonna to have to wait for the reveal when we show everything. So a huge thank you to Casey who came down from Chicago and uh, helped us out. We couldn't have done it without her. Thank you for, uh, thank you Ariane's mom for letting us borrow a 1947 Singer sewing machine that was in mint condition and it worked perfectly. The other thing too that we found out in this whole project that when you buy upholstery thread, old sewing machines cannot use upholstery thread. They can't use the thicker thread. So we actually had to double stitch um, the thread, which made the project longer. Uh, but keep that in mind, uh, upholstery thread is different than regular thread, and you're gonna have to use a newer machine that takes upholstery thread. So we learned a lot on this project. I learned that you can basically pick up foam anywhere <laughs> that's lying around the street and make it a $700 piece of furniture, which this guy on the video that's cutting the foam does. Brilliant, right? Um, he was very knowledgeable and helped us a lot. Uh, go to a discount fabric store to buy the foam. Discount fabric store, I mean, they have a ton of it. They're repurposing it. Do not buy your foam at a retail store because you're going to pay way, way, way too much for that foam. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. Uh, just a few more how-to videos on our Argosy uh, left to go um, because that is really us documenting, documenting 
the whole project of our Argosy renovation. So that's really a lot for us, but we really appreciate that you guys are watching those too. We hope it helps somebody that if they have an Airstream renovation or an Argosy renovation, that the do-it-yourself cushions, um, you may give us a holler if you have a question. We'll be happy to answer it for you. So I really appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. We could really use uh, your help. Ariane and I are going backpacking this weekend. We're getting out of the city. It's been hot. And we're going to go up through the mountains and cool off. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.